Okay, well, now I'm going to show you how to install games onto your Amiga hard drive. Um, the first programs we're going to use to do this is Grab Kick and S Kick. Now I've put um, unpacked these onto the works folder of my Amiga. And you might have to go to Show All Files to get it up. So I've put it in its own little drawer because the S Kick. Uh, program actually has all these files and if you just put it straight into work it'll be, be a bit cluttered. So the first files you're on are in kickstart and as you can see you've got all these um, icons here and they end in .pat and .rtb now the files that we only want to be concerned with is .rtb, don't worry about any other files we just want ones um, ending in .rtb now the A500 kickstart ROM image is going to um, end in A500.rtb but because I've got a 1200 I need the A1200.rtb. Now you can find out which uh, kickstart ROM you got by getting this little screen up and it, as you can see at the top it says um, kickstart version and as you can see it matches this kickstart version .a1200.rtb so that's the one I know that I want because that's the one that I've got on my Amiga 1200 now obviously if you've got the A1200 um, and you can get the image off that you want the A500.rtb image and I think that's the 1.3 one and you just basically you take that and put it into the devs folder and as you can see I go into workbench I um, drag that icon into the devs folder and that's all you do it's as simple as that now the next program we need to use is grab kick so all I do is click on grab kick go to parent and parent again now I want to put it in the works folder so click on work and then OK. Now I was going to rename the um, file there but um, it kind of wouldn't let me do it. As you can see it kind of changed the directory so I would advise against that and just uh, pull it in your works folder and we'll rename it afterwards and then just click OK. Click out of these Oh, there it is. So as you can see it says uh, kick in the version 468 I think. Now for some reason I'm actually doing this again so I'm showing you twice. I actually recorded this with the um, with the video with the video capture device so yeah there you go kick four four double zero six eight and what you want to do is go to icons and it's not icons yeah and just go to rename now this is really important you have to add on top of this um you have to add dot a1200 this is really important so make sure once you've got that file you rename it just put dot A1200 and that's all you have to do and then once you've done that you just click rename There you go, and as you can see, you've renamed it. Now, what we want to do is put this Kickstart ROM image into the devs folder of Workbench. And you do this same method that I'm showing you here for S Kick and um, the Grab Kick. You do this for the same um, 
the same way for other versions of the kickstart run so whether you want to put a A500 one in there or whatever you just you just use the same method basically and as you can see just drag it over and as you can see I've got both the .rtb file in there and the .a1200 kickstart ROM images in there so that's all we do for the first part of um, setting up the Amiga to install games now the next thing you want to do is install WHD load so I've downloaded the file and unpacked it onto the work and as you can see you've got some files here telling you about um, about WHD load. I can't use HTML because I think it was only supported on Workbench 3.9 all you want to do is click install leave it as it is and proceed with install proceed proceed we don't want to mess about with where we're putting stuff and there we go all sorted it's that simple really yeah I'm going to proceed with that and now it's going to install some more stuff it really is just a simple process you you put the kickstart ROM images in a dev folder of workbench and then once you've unpacked the um, WHD load program onto your workbench or on in work rather you just click on the install icon and away you go so there's not much to it it's pretty easy pretty simple it's pretty hassle free as I said at some stage you're gonna have to go onto the WHD load website and buy a registered version of WHD load and that you know you, you probably don't need to do that um, straight away but at some point you probably gonna have to do it do that and I, I think it is worth it especially if you intend to install a lot of games on your Amiga so there we go installation is complete and that concludes the first part of how to put games on your Amiga hard drive it's pretty easy so thanks for watching